Welcome to Online Mass TV. Today we have a challenge. Sum of the paired uh, exponential. The question is 2 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x equal to 8 to the power of x. What will be the possible value of x? Now, we can solve this challenge using two different methods. Okay, but uh, I want to use one of the methods. Okay, but let's take down our solution first so we have your solution to our problem to our challenge although it's not a problem it's a challenge so the question reads 2 to the power of x flux 4 to the power of x equal to 8 to the power of x now look at one of the uh, methods i can decide to divide through by 8 to the power of x Divide here by e to the power of x, divide x by e to the power of x. But that's not the method I want to employ here. I want to use a different method. Now, first of all, we know 4 can be expressed as 2 to the power of 2. We're considering this smallest base here now. Okay? We can express this in this base. We can express it also in this base. And so, so if we rewrite this expression, we're going to have this to be 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of 2 all to the power of x equal to 2 to the power of 3 all to the power of x. This has not really changed the game. Okay? Now, according to the, the law of indices, you say that if you have your know, b to the power of m or for that raised to the power of n, then we can rewrite this as our b to the power of n or to the power of m. It has changed the uh, powers or the exponents. And so if we do that here, then we can rewrite this and this expression as uh, 2 to the power of x flex 2 to the power of x bracket epping r to the power of 2. Because we are having 2 to the power of x here. So we want to bring 2 to the power of x across board and so this will now be equal to the 2 to the power of x r to the power of 3. okay now you now discover that what we have inside the brackets are now the same so at this point we can bring in another alphabet to represent 2 to the power of x so from here let's say let u equal to your 2 to the power of x so if we allow u to be 2 to the power of x, wherever we see 2 to the power of x, let's put in u there. And so the first one, or we cannot say this implies your u flex u squared equal to u to the power of 3. Easy. Okay, all we need to do is just to rearrange the um, expression here. So if we rearrange, bring all this term to this side. And that will now give us here u to the power of 3 minus u to the power of 2 minus u to the power of 1 which is same thing as u equal to 0. If you look carefully u is common here, common here, common here and here we have 0 on the right hand side of the equation. So we can factor out u from here and so if we do that we're going to have this to be u into u into u to the power of 3 we are left with u to the power of 2 minus u into u to the power of 2 we are left with 1 u and yeah u into u we are left with 1 everything equal to 0 okay all we just need here is just to suck up to the zero product rule here okay whereby we equate this to 0 equate this expression in the bracket to 0 so let's continue on this other side and see what this gives us in turn. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead to equate this to zero. And so this will now give us your u equal to zero or the second expression, which is u to the power of two minus u minus one equal to zero. Now, if you look at the first expression here, u equal to zero, you will discover that from our statement here, we will say let u equal to 2 to the power of x. If we put in 0 in place of u, there will be no solution from here. Okay? So to this, there is no solution. We discard this. We take the quadratic equation. 
which is uh, the second part of it. So we now take our equation, case two. Okay. Okay. So from here, we take our case two. So case two, our case two says u to the power of two minus u minus one equal to zero. So if it is zero, now we want to use the method of factorization. Okay. Okay, we cannot use method of factorization. And so we resort to um, the quadratic formula. So our quadratic formula says that here we're going to have u equal to minus b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac everything all over 2a. But let's go ahead and bring our a, b, and c from this quadratic expression. From here, we have our a is equal to the coefficient of u squared, which is 1. And um, our b is the coefficient of just u, which is minus 1. And c, which is our constant term, is minus 1. So let's go ahead and put these values into this formula. And so we're going to have our u equal to minus bracket minus 1 plus minus the square root. Your b is minus 1 again, or squared the minus 4 into 1, one e to minus 1, which is our c, everything all over 2 into 1. Okay, so let's go ahead to simplify this. Minus 1 multiplied by minus 1 will give us plus 1. The, let's bring our plus minus here. The square root of minus 1 square will give us 1. The minus times minus will give us plus. And here, 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 1 will give us 4. All right, everything all over 2 times 1 will give us 2. So we can add the terms in the square root sign. And so this will now give us our u equal to 1 plus minus the square root of 5 all over 2. Of course, we have two equations, uh, two expressions here now. So let's go ahead and bring out the two expressions we have here. Before that, let's continue on this other side again. So case one of this, we're going to have our u, we're going to have our u equal to one flux root five all over two. Er, case two of it, we're going to have one minus root five all over two. Okay, now if you look carefully, this is our golden ratio, okay? So from here, we now recall that we said, so let's say recall, we said let u be equal to two to the power of x. All right, so if we look at this function here, it means this solution will not work out here. It's going to give us imaginary root, okay? So we need our real root from this first case here. And so this is the only one we're going to take. We discard this. So we take only this. And so this now implies our u, wherever we see u, let's put 2 to the power of x. So 2 to the power of x equal to your 1 plus 5 all over 2. Okay. So from here, what will take uh, the natural log of both sides? So what will ln both sides of the equation? Okay. We can as well uh, take a log to base 10 of both sides. But here, let's ln both sides of the equation. So this will give us here your ln of 2, okay, uh, to the power of x, equal to your ln or bracket 1 flux root 5 plus bracket or over 2 into our square bracket. Now, from here, according to the law of logarithm, move this power back this way. And so if we do that, we're going to have our x, that's your ln 
of t equal to the error length. Now we succumb to the law of division of logarithm again. So this can be expressed as 1 plus root 5 close bracket minus ln of 2 close bracket. Okay. We divide through by ln of 2. So if we do that, we're going to have this all over ln of 2. Then this will be a ln of 2. Okay. On this other side, this will leave the system. So we're left with x, which is what we're looking for. And so here, we're going to have our x. If our x equal to the ln of 1 plus root 5, then minus ln of 2, okay, all over the ln of 2. So this is the answer to our exponential challenge. Now, I've used calculator to simplify this down, and I got the final answer. The final answer I put into our initial equation, and it gave me the correct answer. So, so this is all I have for you for today. If you've learned something from this challenge, then drop it in the comment section. Thanks for always being there. Remember, Jake's lost you. And this is all I must TV, where we learn mathematics every day. Bye for now.